it's okay to change your niche. Today, one of my clients came to the very common realization that the first niche they had chosen was not what they wanted to stick with. And this isn't something we talk about often enough, that it's okay to change your niche. Most people are so afraid that if they change their niche that they're gonna lose credibility, that people aren't gonna take them seriously, that they're gonna completely undo all of the awareness building and marketing that they've done up until that point. And there's also this deep-seated fear of wasting time. And Charlie and I both know that all that is bullshit. Right, Charlie? I'm a firm believer that when you choose a niche, when you start a business and you decide, this is what I'm gonna do, these are the people I'm gonna help, it's a dance with the universe. Sometimes the first partner that you pick is your dance partner and you're gonna dance with them and boogie all night long. But most of the time, it's not. Most of the time, the universe is gonna correct you and be like, no, not this person. <laughs> we're gonna send you over here and then we're gonna send you over here and we're gonna send you over here. And it's so easy to see that first partner, that first niche as a waste of time because it wasn't the thing that you ultimately ended up with. But you never would have ended up with that ultimate niche if you hadn't started somewhere with some partner. You see, the universe can't correct you if you haven't gotten up and gotten on the dance floor. And the best part about starting your business is no one's paying attention in the beginning which is a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because if you need to change anything, no one was likely paying attention to you in the first place. Now, it's a curse because you have to do a ton of awareness building and posting and be on social media constantly for people to remember who you are. But in this case where you're changing your niche, it's not a bad thing. And that fear that you've wasted time, let's talk about that. Whose time? We have this weird thing where we shame people for their commitment levels. And when someone picks a niche and then they decide it's not the right niche for them, there's this shame that we put on ourselves because we didn't give it enough time. But by whose standard? Like if you've chosen a niche and you realize that this is not the right niche for you, that it doesn't light you up, that you're not excited about it, that the people that you'd be working with kind of bore you, then actually sticking with that niche a moment longer is the biggest waste of time. Oh, and who am I to tell you this? Hi, I help ADHD business owners make more money in less time with fewer distractions by showing you how to pick your profitable niche that you're actually excited about, show you how to create an offer that they are starving to buy, and I teach you how to market and sell your services without wanting to vomit. I'm Katie McManus, business strategist and money mindset coach, and I have changed my niche numerous times, especially in the early years of my business, which I started six years ago. When I first started, I was convinced I was going to be a dating coach for men. And I started marketing myself as such. And I got pretty much all female clients. Right, Lily? You remember that? And there was only one dude who signed up for dating coaching with me. And then all the women who signed up with me, all but one, didn't actually need help with dating coaching at all. What they needed help with was how to set boundaries around their bosses asking more of them than they were willing to give because they were working extra hours every single day and they were unable to even have a personal life, much less meet the love of their lives. So then I became an executive leadership coach. And then I started getting clients and corporate clients as an executive leadership coach and I really liked it. And I was happy. And then all of my coaching friends that I'd gone to coach training school with started reaching out to me and be like, hey, you're getting clients. You're actually making money. How are you doing that? And I completely took for granted that I had this whole background in sales and marketing that I was leveraging to start and grow my business. So I started showing them. And in showing them, they started getting clients. And as they started getting clients and seeing that what I taught actually worked, they started referring me clients for business building services which I actually liked a lot better than executive leadership coaching. And in the span of about two years, I'd gone through four different niches <laughs> and landed on the niche that I am still doing today, that I'm so happy in, and that I get to absolutely change lives every single damn day. So I share this because I want you to know if you're in that early stage and you're realizing that the niche you picked just is not lighting you up and you just uh, I don't really know if you should stick with it or you should move on, you need to move on. Okay, no question. The fact that you're even questioning it is an answer that you need to move on. You need to pick something that is better for you. And if you need help figuring this out, then I invite you to come to Brave Biz Labs. It is the free group coaching call that I offer my community every fourth Friday of the month. That's this Friday. So you can go to the link in my bio to register. Um, Lily, what are you doing? And I can't wait to see you there.